I did fall in with a very different, a very different group. Did you maintain this relationship with the girl from middle school? No, No. spurned her, spurned everyone, spurned my parents. And, uh, but I, I fell in with this other group and I, um, most, most, I, I, I don't know if most, some magic groups are not united by like a common cosmology. They're united by, uh, by a desire for power, for, to practice magic together. Magic is more powerful when you practice it together. They say it's probably true. And, uh, and so I fell in with this other group that was more, that was interested in black magic. And, um, some were Satanists, some weren't. Some were just Wiccans who were interested in dark and some were, um, oh, there's a term for it. It's a, uh, it's a different, it's, it's kind of like an atheistic magic sect. It's going to come to me later. But, uh, so we were, we were united by the kind of, the kind of ritual, the kind of magic we wanted to do, not by a common belief system. And, um, and I was involved with this group for a while and, uh, and I, you know, just going through the ranks and um and then the, the but the final initiation no one was supposed to talk about unless they uh unless they'd been through it and the, i remember a friend of mine in the group went through the ritual and it was uh then he he told me afterwards he came to me he looked he looked he was i mean he was in his teens and he looked like he looked like an old man he was haggard he was you know pale he was sickly he could he couldn't make eye contact with me and uh he said i went through the, the final initiation and i said oh and he said I, he said i need to tell you what happens and i can't talk about what happens but um it's horrible it's it was horrible it wasn't i don't think it was anything criminal um but it was uh it was pretty well it probably was i don't know I shouldn't i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to save you from any, I don't know, legal problems, but it was, uh, it was terrible. And, um, and I was, and I, I, I was like, I'm getting out. I don't want, I don't want anything yeah. to do with this. And, uh, and it, remi- and years later, I thought about this when I was reading the Chesterton essay, The Diabolist, mm-hmm. where the, where his friend, the Satanist says, you know, if I, if, and he's, he says, he's, he's listening to this, this evil art student talk to one of his friends. And, um, and he doesn't hear what the other person proposes to the Diabolus, but the Diabolus says, um, if, if I did, if I, if I do this, I shan't know the difference between right and wrong anymore. Hello, I want to say thank you to Hello, which is the best, not just the best Catholic app on the App Store, any App Store, it's the best app out of any app that's ever existed, Catholic or otherwise. I think it's finally time to say that. If you want to grow in your prayer life, please check out hello.com slash Matt. If you sign up on their website at hello.com slash Matt, you can get the entire app for free for 90 days. That's ridiculous. After those 90 days, if you don't agree with me that it's worth the the money that you're going to get charged after that monthly, which is a relatively small amount, you can just cancel. You won't be charged a cent. They have sleep stories. They have My Catholic Lo-Fi on there. They've just added the Gospels, a dramatized version of the Gospels. They have daily exegesis on mass readings, which you can listen to. It is fantastic. So if you haven't done it already, hello.com slash Matt, sign up over there, try it for free for three months. If I, if I do this, I shan't know the difference between right and wrong anymore. And it was like a, it was a moment like that for me when I realized as much as I think that I love evil, I don't love this. I don't want anything to do with this. And, um, and so I got out, I just stopped talking to those people. I, uh, I, I stopped answering phone calls and, and text messages. I didn't, I, and I, I, get the, I, I, I pretty much, I gave the whole thing up completely. Um, I burned my copy of all of my, uh, all of my ritual books. I threw away all of the, the garb and all of my, you know, Spencer's punk Satanist clothing. And I, were you uh, afraid that? not going through the final initiation or burning the books, cutting off your relationships would ruin the relationship you had with the demonic that you had come to obsess over and desire. 
Or did you not want that relationship anymore? I didn't want it anymore. Yeah. And I don't, I don't, it, I don't, I don't remember it as a, a moment of saying, oh my gosh, this was all, it took me, I mean, get into this. It took me, it took me about a year to realize how bad it had been. But I, I think that there was a part, again, I think there was a part of me that was still just looking for truth and beauty. And, uh, and that, and so I, I, I remember it as more of a, uh, oh man, I really got off course. Let me try something else. You know, mm. um, I've struggled with my lack of guilt, my ever, ever since I've struggled with a lack of guilt. And I've had, that's been a lot of the spiritual direction that I've gone through. And, um, my priests have said, my very good priests have said, you know, you've, you've been to confession, you've been forgiven. He's, I said, yeah, but St. Francis of Assisi wept over his sins every night. And they said, that was a grace. Um, you know, God doesn't necessarily want you to feel that sorrow. He wants you to feel forgiven. He wants you to feel lightness. And, uh, but at that point, I, uh, I have to trust that. But at that point, I, um, I didn't, I, I, it was, uh, it was, I was, I was horrified and disgusted by what had, by what he told me. Um, and I, and it, it kind of shattered my illusions about black magic. And, and not that I, again, I still believe that it, something happens. I mean, I remember, I remember the, the, when I, when I gave, when I, when I surrendered myself to Satan, I remember this, I end the bait and switch. I, um, oh, I don't probably shouldn't talk about that either. I saw, I had my first personal encounter with a demon and it was, and it was hideous. And, uh, and this is how, I mean, this is the stupidity that I think is manifest at every point in this story, but I wasn't, I wasn't horrified. I wasn't surprised and I wasn't horrified. Um, I thought I was so grateful that he finally showed me his true face, which mm. is, which is evil. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like, and subscribe.